Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 16 Ford on Green's Theorem. And Green's Theorem is one of the four theorems, I think. Uh, Green's, uh, three theorems, uh, three theorems, Green, Stokes, and Divergence, uh, that you will uh, need to know for the final, uh, for sure, or your third midterm, more, more likely the final, and because you usually don't get to this by the third midterm. But anyways, uh, yeah, so, Let's talk about how you use Green's theorem, and I think this will be like a two or three part video um, because there's just a lot to talk about. There are different, a lot of different types of problems that you can get from Green's theorem. So let's talk about uh, the following book problem then, uh, sixteen four number eleven, and it's the following: uh, you want to find uh, the flux and circulation where f is equal to x cubed y squared comma one half x to the fourth y. And your curve then is this region uh, as drawn by the textbook. This part here is uh, y is equal to x squared minus x. And then you got this part coming back, uh, which is y is equal to x. And here you go. That is the orientation of the curve. And so when you calculate Green's theorem, first of all, right? So what does Green's theorem say um, for circulation? which let's find this first. Um, so essentially f dot dr over the curve uh, is going to be equal to the double integral over the region or over the over the region of uh, how, how do you say this d m dx and uh, plus or minus dn dy. And I'm just going to double check that to, to be 100% sure, um, which is something I probably should have done coming into this video. But uh, da, 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 da. Ah, I have these guys backwards. Of course I do. Um, dn dx minus dm dy. Uh, and then you have da. So what are n and what are m? Well, when we have a, f uh, a vector field, big F, uh, we usually call this guy then M and this guy N, right? And that's just in alphabetical order. So what do we do? Okay, so this then gives us the counterclockwise circulation. So that means that we would get the circulation if we went around this way. So exactly in the direction my arrows are pointing. And I know for a fact that uh, on some previous final exam problems, uh, they're going to ask you for the clockwise circulation. All right. And so uh, we'll get to what happens then if one, your circulation is clockwise. And, and yeah, what do you do there? So uh, so the counterclockwise circulation and uh, F uh, so so F dot dr is equal to this double integral. And let's see it in action then for this problem. So now we got the double integral right of well, before we do that, what is n uh, dn dx or n sub x? I'm going to do that, right? What is n sub x? Well, I take uh, one half uh, x to the fourth y and take the partial with respect to x, and I get 2x cubed y. All right, and what is my? Well, I take this guy now and I take the partial with respect to y, and I get 2x cubed y. And look at what happens. I get the double integral of 2x cubed y minus 2x cubed y, which, hey, that's equal to zero, right? And so, yeah, that uh, we're done for counterclockwise circulation. So that's cool. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, what else am I going to say here? Uh, it doesn't always work out this way. Um, it doesn't always end up being zero, but you usually end up with something, uh, right? And then you sub da. Um, whatever how you how you want to integrate it but you're get integrating zero right this is zero and so you're gonna get zero okay and yeah it doesn't always work out this well but in this case it does and uh, whatever so we're done here uh, now let's let's talk about flux then um, so we haven't really had to talk about flux integrals up to now but uh, a flux integral is usually uh, f dot n ds okay and uh, in our case, uh, Green's theorem says that the flux integral then will be the double integral over R of dm dx plus dn dy, all right, dA. So what are we going to have to do? 
Well, uh, what is m of m sub x? So now we gotta take m and take a partial respect to x, and that gets me three x squared y squared. And what's n sub y? Well, that's this guy partial respect to y, and that's going to just be one half x to the fourth. So this double integral turns out uh, to be 3x squared y squared plus 1 half x to the fourth. All right, and now we need to figure out uh, how we're going to integrate it. Well, good thing we have the region here. And which way are we going to integrate it? Well, oh, this isn't y equals 0. This should be y equals x. Well, it looks like we have two equations for y, right? Or that's two equations for y. And so it makes sense then to just integrate it in the y direction because I always hit the parabola and then I always hit the straight line um, up top. So, and so, okay, so we'll do then dy dx. And what is y? Well, y is going to hit the parabola, which is x squared minus x. And then it's going to hit the top guy, which is y is equal to x. And then dx, uh, what, are, what, are it's going to be, what are the points going to be? Well, x at the minimum looks like it's going to be at the origin. And then uh, what else? Well, if we do x squared minus x is equal to x, right? Where are these guys equal? We've got x squared minus 2x is equal to 0. And so x times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Uh, so it looks like x then is equal to 0 or 2. And we already have 0. So then the upper bound for x should be 2. OK. And now we just got to integrate this guy. Um, with respect to dy first, so you go from 0 to 2, this becomes x squared y cubed uh, plus 1 half x to the fourth from x squared minus x, or uh, we need a y there, uh, to x, right, because we integrated with respect to y, so now this y appears. And uh, what does this become? This becomes the integral from 0 to 2 of x to the fifth uh, plus 1 half x to the fifth minus uh, x squared times x squared minus x cubed plus 1 half x to the fourth times x squared minus x. All right. And oh boy, this is this is going to be an interesting result. What is this? This is 3 halves x to the fifth uh, minus um, you get x to the well, this guy cubed is a uh, pain that behind, but it should be x to the sixth. Um, okay, and then you got uh, minus x cubed. All right, then you got minus 3x to the fifth plus 3x to the fourth. All right, so then uh, you need to take, so that's x squared, x squared minus x cubed. Um, and then uh, what, 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 what is that? Well, you got to multiply this in by x squared. So I got x to the eighth uh, minus 3x to the seventh plus 3x to the sixth uh, minus x to the fifth. All right, and then I have uh, 1 half x to the sixth minus 1 half x to the fifth. All right, I uh, really hope I didn't make any, make any uh, calculation errors because that would be tragic. But I essentially get negative x x to the eighth uh, minus or plus three x to the seventh because this minus sign takes out that minus sign um, and then minus uh, minus seven halves x to the sixth all right I combined these guys and then I took the minus sign um, and then what uh, then you have um, plus three halves x to the fifth um, but you already have a 3 halves x to the 5th, so you actually pick plus 3x to the 5th. Uh, and I think that is all that is right there. Yep, and then uh, from 0 to 2, dx, which I've been dropping, but you guys know it's there. And then what does that get me? That gets me uh, a negative x to the 9th over 9. Um, plus 3 eighths x to the seventh minus, isn't this fun, 1 half x to the seventh <laughs> uh, plus uh, 1 half x to the sixth. I'll evaluate it from 0 to 2. And what in the world is this? Well, 
looks like it is the following. Oh, this is the this is the eighth right here. Okay, good catch by me. And uh, well, I actually have exactly. Uh, I have the book answer, um, and I know what, I know I have this integral correct. So this integral ends up being sixty four over ninth, which is the flux of uh, this region right here. So the flow, the counterclockwise flow is zero, uh, and the flux is uh, 64 over nine. How, uh, however, there's also one more thing I wanted to say. Uh, this is gonna be the outward flux, okay? It's the outward flux. Um, this, the word outward, uh, it actually, uh, you don't have to worry about it too much because no one's really gonna ask you uh, what like the inward flux is gonna be. Um, but just keep in mind that the flux then uh, will be outward. Okay, so the two Green's formula, uh, the, the two Green's theorem formulas that you guys should probably remember right here and right here. And Green's theorem works on flux and flow in two dimensions. Uh, for flow, it's going to be counterclockwise. For flux, it's outwards. There are your two formulas. Really, it's just a plug and play. And so then, whoops. And in the next video, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do in the next video. Either we're going to do area or we're going to do a harder example. Um, I think this will be like a two video series. So I'll see you guys in the next Greens video.